hydrogen flow coming out of the skull head I put on top of the generator itself. My AMC Gremlin. Let me go over this unit in detail. This is the water holding tank here. That's the generator underneath there, and this air is coming out, carrying water with it so it can cool itself. And it draws water in from the bottom. Down below, this juts way down, and it receives water through the unit here, and it circulates. I have close to two gallons of water. The bubbler's in the back, back there. This is a check valve. As the gas leaves the top of the unit, it goes through the check valve. This is plumbed into the bubbler over there. And then the air hose is there, been to a vacuum line to the carburetor. This unit works really, really well. It makes a lot of gas. Uh, at 11 volts or so, on a bench test, it was making around a liter per minute. And now I've got it on uh, 12 or 14 volts on the car system. And it's clearly more aggressive on gas production. And I'm thinking that my amps are higher. It looks like I might be drawing close to 30 amps, which I, I have a potentiometer I can dial that down. But uh, I've wired this to take 40 amps, but I don't want to run it at 40 amps. This unit should not overheat. The way I've got it mounted into the system, it's mounted securely with a bracket here. I bracketed everywhere else. I had to add brackets. I believe I can drive this car about anywhere and not have any problems, but I won't know until I actually do it. This won't get the mileage of the VW Beetle because the motor is 3.8 liters, but the Volkswagen has so much uh, less engine to fill with hydrogen, but this should make a definite improvement. I'm going to turn the light off, and that's this way you can see how the unit looks. I put a neon light behind the skull head. And as you can tell, that shows the gas flow clearly, making a lot of gas. And that, the neon light is just for effect. I mean, if you're going to do this, you might as well do it with a little style. And I had a lot neon lights and just happened to remember that it, I could put it there. But in the back, you can see the bubbler, and that's the gas going in to the engine. This unit affects the idle of the engine when it's running, so I, I have a kill switch in there and I have a potentiometer I can dial it down when I'm idling, not to have it run so hard when I'm idling, but I, I have it on now for full effect just to make this little video. But as you can see, uh, I'm going to quickly move about here and walk out to my shadow, but you can see this unit fits in there really snug by two gallons of water. I'm thinking this won't ever get overheated even on a very long trip. Even running 30 amps, I read it for an hour, my contacts, my electrical contacts did not get hot. There's 30 plates in here, 15 on top, 15 on bottom. So I've wired them in, they're parallel, wired parallel. I wired them in series and the unit produces a lot less gas and it's very low volts. So I, I've got this wire parallel, it's very aggressive and it's drawing a lot of amps, it's really producing gas. And like I said, I can dial it down from inside the car. But uh, I'm real happy with it. I'll be posting more information on how this works on the internet as I get more information. That's all.